guys this is Tina welcome back to my channel so since the last video um you know whittling down our pile all I have done is just added this little ticket here and this flower with the button at the bottom of here however I then was thinking I'm not so happy with having such a lot of orange in this space up here so what I'm going to do is cut around like this and then this will be like a corner piece like a corner tuck spot on a page but it doesn't have to be at the corner I guess but like that so it's like a shaped tuck so you know if I were using this in a journal I would just glue it then on two sides there and you'd have your pocket here to me that just looks somehow nicer I prefer it kind of with that more shaped part there so I'll just ink that up and that's it so yeah really liking those couple of pieces there so that's all of that orange paper that we've used it's only taken you know a whole hour to use that right okay so back into this gorgeous book so let's have a look and see obviously we now have you know these ones now I mean these ones might not be the ones that we end up using but I'll just have a look so I mean I absolutely love this side um yeah I'm that's very cute too isn't it I wonder if I could get two bits out of those so hmm, I'm gonna have to cut this here because it's sellotaped down and if I try and tear it I think I might just damage it completely so let's just cut that like that right so this little piece here obviously I could use and then I can probably hopefully anyway use that one there so let me just hold that up to the light and just check oh I'm only just going to be able to do that yeah it's not going to be very you know very comfortable so all right let's just tear this out and I'm going to tear into his foot I think a little bit that big one so like that now as I say we've got some sellotape here where this book's been repaired I'm just going to sort of tear around like, well, cut around like that. But I have got the bulk of that elephant left, so that's absolutely fine. Okay, so we've got this one. And obviously I was, you know, thinking we would use this. But he doesn't really complement those. But he does maybe complement this. So I'm thinking, you know, use this piece now. So let's have a look I don't know whether we would be able to get one of those matchbox books out out of this or whether actually this would be too short so let's just have a look because obviously this is only quite a small image so we only need it to be quite a small piece no not really so I think what we'll have to do is have him you know have this like a flip up so I'm just going to put him on so that I gauge the right width and actually I might have him I might have him this side so I'll just cut that down like that okay so I'm just going to have this as just like a little flip up type piece so we just fold that down get my bone folder like that and then I think we'll just round the corners again on this piece yep I mean definitely that pile has no dent in it whatsoever obviously because we've just used two sheets so far so this might turn out to be just a complete no-go, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see. I mean, I was kind of thinking we'll just carry on until the pile's gone, but that might just be like madness. Might be here like for weeks. I'll have no viewers left, you know. None of you ladies will still be joining me, but I'll still be ploughing my way through the pile. So we'll uh, have to review it and see how we're getting on, but... You know, I just thought definitely this would be a really great thing to get some of those bits off of the floor. Um, 
you know, get them used up. So, because I mean, obviously, you've bought these things, you don't want to just throw them out. So, of course, I will donate, you know, a couple of things to the school, like the rest of that pad. But, you know, I mean, some of them I do still like. I'm just, you know, I haven't necessarily used that type of stuff for a while. Right. So he is so cute on there, isn't he? Because he just matches those papers perfectly. Um, you know, which is lovely. So let's just see what else I've got here. Again, I've got those ephemera extras, which, you know, are quite a good colour for him on these. Again, they are printed in the main on that glossy photo paper, which, you know, not necessarily what I would have chosen but you know that's just what I've got them printed on at the moment so well some and some some are not on that but some are because I just want to cover up a little bit you know those white lines because I'm not that keen on those white lines showing so I'll just glue that number 30 down Oh, this is so nice. I haven't done anything with kids' books for absolutely ages. And um, you forget how much you enjoy using certain things, or, you know, I do. And, oh, it's been so nice to work with these gorgeous images. So, yeah, really, really enjoying working with them. No. Nope. Just trying to find something to literally cover that um, you know white line up that's all I'm I'm looking for really is to just cover that white line up mm, it's a bit weird isn't it what about a postage stamp or something oh, I don't think I've got any quite the right colors I seem to have purples and Oh, I have got some blues here, actually. Hold on. Mm, got that green one. Probably a little bit bright, but... Got that one. That's probably better. It's just sort of a more, you know, like a deep teal type colour. So... So what I might do is stick this down and do like a postmark stamp, I think, over it. Hey, the sun has come out. It's not looking all that nice earlier. But yeah, the sun's the sun's come out now, so who knows, maybe the day's gonna brighten up after all. Okay, so that's quite nice, isn't it? So I'm just going to ink this up a little bit. I mean, you know, it's quite old, but it's not overly discoloured. Obviously, I have got that sellotape on there, but I mean, that sort of adds to the, you know, the vintageness of it. So again, just glue that down. Okay. Oops. Oh, come on. Okay. So I'm going to drag him over and then I will trim trim the excess off. So I'm just going to trim him down here a bit. Like that. Might leave, oh, I was going to say I might leave that long, you know, this little bit at the edge, but actually it looks a bit strange, so I won't bother. Okay. Oh, that's so cute, isn't it? 
So, I mean, again, you know, you could just have that like on a little page as I sort of flip up. Oops. I'll just glue these bits down. Okay, now do we want anything else on there? Got these cute yellow flowers, which they might be quite sweet on there, mightn't they? So I just think that up. It might look better not inked, actually. Now I now I've inked it. Oh no, maybe not. So I'm just going to pop that on there as well. So I'm just I'm just going to glue that down with the. Fabri tack or the you know the three and one just in case there's a problem with that gluing onto that cellar tape. I mean I don't know, maybe this won't really like it either, but we'll just see. Okay, so that's that one. Love that cute, cute piece. So we'll put that to one side and then we've got this section here, which we obviously you know cut down or cut cut his leg off anyway, perhaps I should say. So, hmm, am I best off? I'm probably best off cutting around him, I think. So we'll just cut all around. Now, again, he's very fragile and he has been sellotaped together. I don't mind that. I kind of think that's really quite nice. Okay. And actually, I have to say, it's really lovely cutting through that with the sellotape. It's got a sort of glidey, really nice feel to it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and my daughter would say, oh, it's really satisfying, isn't it? That must be her new word that she's heard somewhere. So, you know, like if she kind of, I don't know, colours something that she obviously really enjoys, she'll say, oh, that was really satisfying, wasn't it? Yeah, that's how that felt, cutting through the sellotape parts. I actually feel like just now covering the whole thing in sellotape and always cutting through the sellotape. It's got something really nice about it. Okay. These are great, these elephants. They're not too bad to cut out because obviously they're really big. You know, they're not really fussy. Well, I mean, they are fussy cuts, but you know, they're not really fussy. So they're okay. They're okay to cut out. Right, now obviously I have already cut his foot off, which, you know, that's unfortunate, but you know, that was what I had to do to obviously get to the other side. So again, what we could do is have him more like to the edge of a piece like that. So I'll just stand up and sort of look down on him. Yeah, kind of thinking maybe like that. So, I mean, there's a temptation now to pull in like a different type of pocket or something. But I mean, obviously, you know, I am trying to actually now use my, that pile up. So I'm going to stick with what I have here. So I'm just going to check what he looks best on, you know, what background he looks best on. Oh, he looks quite nice on there, although he looks nice on there too. No, I don't like him on the blue. So do we want to use that or that? Well, perhaps we should just use this because, um, you know, let's just use what we're actually in the middle of using so far, perhaps. Okay, let's have a think how we're going to have him. Uh, mm, well, what we could do is have him like on a pocket. Uh, hmm. Let me see whether I've got anything. I mean, again, probably what I should be doing is make a pocket from these papers because Again, that's going to be helping me use up that pile. So let me pull in a bunch of the other paper. Obviously, this paper is not, you know, not matching. But I just thought perhaps I could make a pocket from this. So let's just fold this down. 
check that he's going to fit on there. You know, because of course my mission here is to get through these papers. So there's no point, you know, now, now being naughty and pulling in more stuff because that's just, that's against the mission, isn't it? So, oh my gosh, it's like falling down. Right, I'm probably going to cut it down, so I'm just going to put some glue here because otherwise it's pretty ginormous, so um, yeah, I'll probably cut it down. So put the glue there, just stick that together. <clears throat> just going to cut it sort of here-ish, maybe a bit further up actually. Probably missed that glue now completely. That's well, not bad, not bad. Okay, so that's my kind of pocket, you know, base. And then I'm thinking, you know, make my pocket part from this and have him there, or we could have him could have him poking out from the pocket. No, he's better on the pocket, I think, isn't he? Yeah, he's better on there. So, again, what I'm going to do is just take that and I'm just going to wrap it round like that. So, let me take that bone folder. <clears throat> Again, down there. Okay. And I'm just going to trim down here. <clears throat> now, what do you think, guys? You know what I'm thinking, don't you? To keep or not to keep? ridiculous to keep that isn't it it's literally ridiculous ah oh, what is wrong with me do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna punch a couple of martha stewart butterflies so i am using it but i'm not technically keeping it oh that's not gonna work with those colors because they look look not so good in the you know, in the butterfly effect, but oh well. We've got a couple of um, butterflies out of that. Right, okay. Right, I'm going to bin that. I know, I know. It's like, what on earth? But I have to because the point of this exercise is to whittle that pile down. And if I hang on to even, even this, even that, what on earth is wrong with me? That pile will never, ever get whittled down, will it? So, yep, yeah, I'm going to be strong and I'm going to get rid of that. And hey, we did get a couple of Martha Stewart butterflies out of it, so it wasn't too, too bad. So we just glue this down. <clears throat> and then again, just glue it here. Right, did I glue the bottom? Yeah, I think I did. I think I did. I'm obviously going mad now. I can't remember what I've done and what I haven't. Oh, okay, right. So I'm going to round my corners. And then we'll put a thumb hole, I think. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, that's like a shallowest thumb hole I've ever seen. Oh well, never mind. Right. And we're going to take our little elephant. Oops, this is where obviously he doesn't now fit properly because of the thumb hole. Well, he does if I put him over there, actually. So that's okay. So, yeah, he's going to have to kind of be snipped off about here. So, just going to mark him just with my nail. Just so I knew where to cut him down. Okay, and again, we'll just put a couple of things behind him so he's not completely plain on there. up here <clears throat> Let's have a bit of this blue somewhere maybe even there now what am I gonna put behind him now do I want to have maybe some doily somewhere this is that bluey green again you know the uh, food colored doily <clears throat> Oh, I'm not sure now. <coughs> Excuse me, it's it's getting to tea time. Not not tea as in dinner, tea as in cup of cup of tea time. <coughs> oh, I'm not sure now. Do you know what? I think what I'm going to do is ink this up first because it definitely needs a bit of bit of inking. So it's looking quite, you know, quite bright at the moment. So we'll just dull it down a bit. blue one as well perhaps he needs some um, you know instead of the food colored perhaps he needs some regular regular coffee dyed doily type stuff Gosh, look at all that stuff that's all just everywhere on my desk. I don't know why I'm sounding like, oh, I'm so surprised. I hadn't seen that before. Of course, you know, I had seen it. It's always dropping down, all that stuff. Right, what else am I going to put there? Again, I've got some of that glossy. Oh, I have also got that little centre, so, well, not centre, sorry like a postmark let's just take this what is it that I need here what is it I don't know maybe I need some some of this. Let me just ink this up a little bit. This is that naval officer's book, I think. Uh, not na sorry, not naval officer. Naval list, the naval list book, which I really do love using. It's um, it's really nice book to use. Yes, 
yeah definitely that's toning it down isn't it so yeah I'm gonna going to pop that down And then oops. that's that side. I'm not sure what's going on this. I don't know. I don't know. Something about this is not quite coming together, whether it's because it's too bright. Maybe I need to tone down the bottom piece as well. Definitely that's better with that white line covered up. I think the white lines are not really helping. I'm not enjoying those at all. Right, I'm gonna go and get a cup of tea and then I will be back. Right, I'm back and hopefully refreshed now from having my cup of tea. So I've kind of relayed everything out and um, you know, while I was just drinking my tea and it's looking better like this, I think. So. The difference, honestly, a cup of tea makes to um, your ability to, to be able to concentrate, I think. So, okay. I had been videoing kind of back to back and, um, you know, it's quite thirsty work. I know I say that all the time, but I mean, honestly, it is. So after a while, you just need to stop and, um, you know, have a drink and come back. Right, so I'm going to have that like that. I can't remember whether I inked this up or not, so I'll just ink it up again. This is that glossy photo paper, but that's fine. I'm just going to have that there on that side. Like that. My son's up here, so um, if you hear anyone sniffing or anything, that's him. Did you want to say hi? Hi everyone. It's my eldest son. Oops, and now I can hear my daughter is up here as well. Did you want to say hi? Hello. Right, it's like a family outing now. Okay, I'm kind of wishing that I hadn't put that thumb hole there because obviously that's now, you know, it wouldn't be a problem with his ear, but now it is kind of a bit of a vulnerable point. But that's okay. So I can either shift him over, and again, I'm going to have to cut his ears off there like that or I could have him over further there but I think I prefer him that way because um, I then have less of like the white lines and things showing which that's probably the bit that I'm not over keen on so um, right I'm just going to glue around him like that and then those Martha Stewart butterflies that we punched out just now, you know, when we were just using that little scrap of paper, I thought, oh, let's have one on his nose because that would look really cute. So um, that's what that one's doing, floating around there, ready to, to pop on his nose. So, right, so he's hanging off quite a bit from the pocket, but that's okay because I'm going to trim him round. And, um, you know, then he won't be... Won't be just hanging off in midair. Oops. So we just trim that down. Like that. And obviously I had rounded the corners, so just trim around there. Like that. Oh, he's so sweet, isn't he? So I'll just ink up that butterfly. And I'm just going to have that like on his nose, like like there. I mean, to be honest, it's probably quite a big one and probably one of those smaller Martha Stewart ones would have been better, but we'll go for this one. Okie dokie. There we go. 
and then what did I do with those other pieces uh, there so we've just got this sort of uh, tickety label piece and then that one there I think like that and then I also just fussy cut out that butterfly and just wondered whether we wanted that anywhere I don't know whether we do now because obviously we've now got the butterfly on his nose so it might look like a little overdose of butterflies there so I just then ink this up a little bit more like that oh, it's getting incredibly hot up here I must say it does get very warm up here and I've had the lights on obviously for filming I have switched them off now so I hope that the lighting is still okay um, I mean obviously when I pressed record again it looked like the lighting was okay um, so I hope that it is it was just kind of it's getting really hot so I just thought oh, I need to um, need to have the lights off for a bit what with that and obviously my cup of tea has warmed me up as well so um, I'm just like getting hotter and hotter by the minute okay so that's those and then got a couple of flowers which we could have a flower I mean that one's quite large as you can see it's a bit like a sort of circus type thing but he looks a bit like he's at the circus so I mean I don't dislike that I think it's kind of cute hmm might have to do that yeah I don't know whether people think that's really strange uh, Hmm. I'll just put in my number tabs. Oops. Honestly, every time I touch things, things are dropping down. Right, let's put in one of the blue ones. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, if you're joining along with your craft pile that you need to whittle down, how's it going? Is your pile is your pile whittling down at all or is it like mine and you've just used two sheets of paper so far? That's not good progress, is it? No, not, not good progress. But, you know, everything starts somewhere, doesn't it? So um, better than no progress at all. That. and then I mean have you noticed I've put no lace anywhere yet which of course that's a first isn't it you know no lace I do really like that flower does everyone else think that's really weird <sighs> do you know I just sometimes think you've just got to um, <laughs> just got to go for it haven't you let's have that on there So again, I just kind of go around there, like just on the edge, because obviously I don't really know when, you know, where's going to be glued on and where's not. So like that, we've hopefully caught it everywhere. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, he's looking really sweet now. So that's another piece done. Okay, let's now see what's next then so let me just pull in I'm gonna pull in the book and I'm gonna pull back the papers we'll just see what else we've got so we've got these ones and I love this this picture so I'm gonna tear this out now I don't know how this one's going to go because obviously it's very big and we've got this one which I absolutely love okay right let's start with this one because this one's pretty pretty huge so this one's gonna be you know tricky to use I think let's have a bit of a think now shall we make a big journaling card maybe or we could do like a floating pocket perhaps 
Mm. He's like kind of sucking his skin up. I hadn't really noticed that. It's a strange thing, isn't it? Right, let me just put in some other paper because that might not be quite right. You know, that might not be able to be on there. Now, this is flimsy paper. This is the green, you know, the same pack from this green that we used here. So, I mean, it's not necessarily ideal, really, to do, like, a floating pocket or anything. But, I mean, it maybe would work okay. Providing you didn't put anything too, too thick in it. So, let's just go for that. So, again, I'm just going to kind of fussy tear around him. More you know just making him smaller really rather than actually capturing his shape if you see what I mean so we're just going to tear around like that oh no mind his ears honestly these poor elephants they're just like constantly in danger of having their ears ripped off aren't they Every time I touch one, it's like, oh no, mind the ears, mind the ears. Well, their ears and their tails. Look, he's lost his tail now. Right. <laughs> okay. So decide which way I want the floating pocket to be. I think that way would be good. And then what I'm going to do is just, you know, as we made in the um, mass making series, if you made some along with me, so I'm just going to snip in here and obviously I want to kind of make this a lot smaller than it is at the moment because it's a whole a whole A4 page. Okay. And then in there like that. And then what I'm going to do is obviously trim it down here because it's pretty big. Wow, that cup of tea, the um, effect has worn off already, hasn't it? Because I'm doing this in a very peculiar way, I must say. It's like, obviously, concentration's gone already. That cup of tea wasn't sufficient. I needed, obviously, a whole, a whole flask of tea. Right, okay. So I'm just going to now fold these up. This is just to make my, you know, my folding, uh, floating pocket piece. And again, I mean, I'm kind of doing these pieces, you know, I mean, ordinarily, I would probably have used that maybe for an envelope or something. But because I'm trying to use up stash, I don't want to just pull other pieces in. I want to really focus on using stuff from that pile. So that's why, you know, I'm, I'm making the pieces that I'm making because I'm really trying to be good and not just pull in something else. Okay, that's that. And that's him. So, I mean, for me, I think that's a little bit square. And so I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to tear him down a bit. So I'm going to tear him here a bit, tear in some of his ear off. Yep, I knew it was going to happen. And then I'm just going to tear down, uh, not tear, sorry, cut down this here just a little bit more because otherwise it was quite square rather than like a rectangle so we we'll just cut that down oh my gosh look at my cutting that's just horrendous isn't it oh my gosh look still horrendous okay right let's spin that and just going to glue this together now on the flaps. Like that. Okay. Just then squash those down with my bone folder so as it sticks nicely together. Okay, right, let's pull him back in. So if he's going to go here like that, 
I mean, isn't that just the most gorgeous little image? He's so cute, isn't he? So let's just ink him up a bit. All around. I mean, as I say, you know, he's not bright white, but it's just he does look quite stark once he's stuck down with other pieces. He takes on a much brighter effect, I think. So I'm just going to ink around this. This is like a sort of salmony pink type colour. Um, so again, I'm just hopefully toning it down a little bit. It's a pretty colour actually. I always wonder whether the colours come out quite right on camera because, um, you know, sometimes when you're watching videos and people say what colour things are and you think, oh, it doesn't look that colour. So that's why I kind of sometimes say what colour things are because just in case they're not really coming out very well on camera. Okay. I mean, he's just so gorgeous, honestly. Really, really, really sweet. So, again, I think maybe some of that vintage newspaper. My son's leaving the room. He obviously cannot bear listening to any more crafting. <sighs> He's going back downstairs. But, oh, this is just too much. I can't be in here anymore. Well, he was on his phone up here, wasn't he? Yeah. Play video games. Well, he doesn't really play video games very much, does he? Yeah, he did go through that weird phase, but he doesn't normally really play many video games, to be honest. None of them really do. Actually, my daughter's probably the worst one for playing video games. She loves them. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. She's just doing some colouring at the moment. Right, so again I'm just kind of looking at what what type of things we can just you know pop around him quite liking that doily there that's really nice so I'll just glue that down I mean again I just really like it once you've glued something down you've got some you know somewhere to start then like a starting point which is really good this one up a little bit now I've got that big butterfly again so let me just see I mean that's really sweet actually isn't it now I'm just going to have a look at my labels and see whether one of those would look good on there. Hold on. Oh gosh, where are they now? I have been using them on something else that I've been working on. I'm at the stage, you know, get through the rough to get to the smooth, or whatever that, that expression is, you know. So I'm, I'm in the rough at the moment. I've been working on tons of different projects and um, yeah, so it's a little bit chaotic, chaotic, and, you know, like I showed you in the video, at the moment, I've literally taken all of that stuff that was on the floor and just piled it up beside me. So, I'm, yeah, at a stage where things are, like, worse than they were at the moment. Well, they're not worse, they're a lot better behind my desk. Wow. I mean, I couldn't even walk through to get to my desk, but the pile beside me is um, not brilliant. Right. So that's a little label there. Okay. 
Okay. Let's just now pop that down. Our cute elephant image down here. I think that was a lorry has just gone past. It was so noisy. Okay. <clears throat> oh, and another one by the sounds of things. They're really loud today. I think it's because I've got the window open on the um, on the landing you know making it really really loud up here so yeah that must be why it's so loud I thought well that's really strange because they're not normally that loud but yeah that's obviously why isn't it the window the window is open okay it's weird because I mean often you don't really notice things do you but then you're filming and it's like oh that's really loud I mean, oddly, this butterfly, I mean, it doesn't necessarily really go, but there's something really nice about it. Oh, that's gorgeous, darling. Oh, oh thank you, sweetheart. This is my daughter's lovely picture that she's just made. Isn't it cute? And, and I've she's... got my lips. Oh, thank you. Oh, and she's put kisses on her lipstick. Oh, that's so lovely. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, thank you, darling. Let me just put it down here for a minute. Thank you, sweetie. It's gorgeous, darling. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Let's pop label down. Like that. Yeah, it's weird. That butterfly doesn't really kind of go, but it looks really, really, really striking on there. So, yeah. I'm kind of liking it. Oops, I don't think I've stuck that label on very straight and now I won't be able to get it up. Luckily I can. Luckily I just about did. So there we go, that's better. Otherwise it was a bit lopsided. Right, didn't make a great job of cutting him out, so just ink him up there a little bit. That's better. Right, do I like that one? I'm just checking because I have got those kind of olivey green ones again. Which would possibly... No, yeah, I'm going to go for this one. Right. Okay, let's just glue this one down. Okay. There we go. Let's pop that on there. How cute is that? So that's like a little floating pocket that you could just kind of clip onto a page. Now... On the back, probably I might just put some um, coffee dyed paper, I think, just for journaling. So, again, let me just see if I can... I mean, I've got that, which is a doily piece. I was just being... Um, being lazy, really, because that was just there, like, right above where I'm sat. And I thought, oh, that's quite handy. It would save me rummaging around looking for something else. But no. We won't go for that. Right, have some coffee dyed paper here. Oh, that's really, really dark on there. And didn't look that great. Sometimes the coffee dyeing process can make it like really dark, you know, and other times not, not so dark. And just weirdly, you know, that just didn't look very good on that piece of paper. So this is better. Just going to fold that there. It just gives me a guide of where to cut it and then Probably about there. Okay, right. I'm just going to cut it here. Like that. And then just cut it along here. Like that. And then I can obviously trim it down now. I'll just trim across that top bit and I might round the corners. Oh, 
it looks okay actually without even rounding the corners. So perhaps I won't. Just checking which colour I prefer. I thought the lighter colour, but actually, I think the darker colour. Right. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, right. Let's stick this one down. There's my card. Okay, so that's looking good now and you know could always just pop on like a little piece or something just to just so it's got something a bit more to it. So yeah, maybe we'll just have that there, something. Okay. So we'll just pop this one down here. Okie dokie, right, so that's another piece done. So probably call it quits there now um, because I've now lost track again of how long I've been filming for. But you know, hopefully we're getting through that pile a little bit. I mean, I have to say the pile's sort of down beside me, down behind me. It doesn't really look like I'm making much progress so far, but I mean, hopefully, hopefully making a bit. So. That's our little pieces that we have made today. So, yep, I hope you like them. And um, thank you so much for joining me. I will hopefully see you all again soon. Thanks, Anne. Bye.